Hey guys, it's JF Sims Thanks here, and welcome to my 200 subscriber special. And today it's going to be a Q and A. Uh, in this video, I'll be answering your questions left on the Q and A video. And so yeah, we'll just get straight into the first one. <coughs> okay, so the first comment comes in from DC Snakes, and he says, "Will you ever get a retic? And if so, what morph and when?" Um, I think I probably will get a retic in the future. But if I was to get one, it would be a tiger and a super dwarf. And um, as to when, it would probably be, if I was going to get one, probably be, hmm, probably November Doncaster, or maybe next year in Doncaster. I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, if I was to get a real ticket, it would be a tiger super dwarf. Okay, next question comes in from SD Reptiles, and that is, what's your dream snake? My dream snake would probably be to have in my collection would probably be a crystal blue green tree python. Uh, just because I think that they're really, really pretty. Um, I'll see if I can put one in the corner of the video here. But they're really nice and uh, I think that would be a really cool snake to have. Next comment comes in from Jack Davies and he asks, Why did you get into snakes and what would be your perfect snake? Um, why did I get into snakes? Well, I got into snakes for the main reason that my friend had one, and then I really liked his, so I bought mine, and then ever since, this happened. So, uh, yeah, my friend got one, I thought I wanted one, got one, loved it. And what would be my perfect snake? Um, we'll change this up a bit, we'll say Royal Python. Favourite Royal Python would probably be a Super Pinstripe, no, Super Pastel Pinstripe Mojave, as I find them really, really nice looking. Next question is... If you were to get a lizard, what species would you get? Now, I'm going to answer this with two parts. Um, if I was to go in to get a lizard out of any lizards in the world, like regardless of care, I'd probably get a savannah monitor, as I think they're really cool. But if you're asking me to personally get a lizard, say, tomorrow, I'd probably get a crested gecko or a leopard gecko, probably a crested gecko because I find those a bit cooler. Um, as to if you, if when you say, oh, I don't know, I don't know morphs of crested geckos as I've never really looked into it, but probably a crested gecko. Uh, but yeah, thanks for your question. We'll move on to the next one. Next question comes in from Nature Kid Vids One, and it says, "What is your favourite snake?" Um, hmm, what is my favourite snake? At the moment, I'd have to say, like, out there that's come out recently, I'd have to say the scaleless ball python. Um, I think that that's a really cool, really cool snake. And uh, it's quite weird, if you've ever seen the video of it, it's quite a weird snake. But I think it looks quite cool, so, you know, that's my favourite snake at the moment. Next question comes in from Royals and More, and it says, What is your favourite snake in your collection? Well, the favourite snake in my collection, oh well, that's a tough one, because if I'm going just on looks and like temperament, I would probably have to say rug. Um however, I don't know. If you're going just on like an overall snake, so feeds well and and all that, I'd probably say Coco. If you're going on looks and just cool factor, I'd probably say rug. But if you said that I could keep one snake out of my collection <sighs> really tough if really stumped me. Um, I'm probably going to say car, to be honest. Just because it's my first one and have kind of sentimental value, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, now we'll move on to the next one. Next question comes in from Sebastian Maldonado. And he asks, do you like king snakes and would you ever purchase one? Um, funny that you've asked this because... Other than my friend getting a snake, uh, we had an animal man type person that came into our school a couple of years ago before I had my snakes. And uh, he's, um, and he had snakes and one of them was a Californian king snake. And that night I went home and asked my parents for a Californian king snake. And they all said no and then I forgot about it and then my friend got one. So do I like king snakes? Yes, I do like king snakes. I love king snakes. And would I ever buy one? I would definitely buy one. And uh, I think I'm going to go a bit more in detail here and say if I was to buy one, I'd get a reverse striped Californian king snake. 
Okay guys, so the next question comes in from Vicky is a midget and she asks, uh, do you have a love for snakes or reptiles in general? Now I'd say that my main love is snakes, however I would definitely say that I have a, a passion and you know an interest in reptiles in general. Um, I always watch different videos, no matter what they are, of reptiles, uh, lizards, uh, you know, turtles, tortoises, alligators. I, I have an interest in them all. I wouldn't own them all. Like, I have no desire to go out and buy a tortoise. However, I still find them interesting animals. But yeah, the only animals I'd really consider keeping as pets, me personally, is probably snakes and maybe a few lizard species. But definitely my main love is snakes. Okay, so the next question comes in from Carmen Classen, and she asks, would you recommend a snake for a first reptile? Uh, yes, I definitely would. However, not all snakes would be great for a, a first uh, first snake, sorry, uh, purely because of care requirements. However, something like a corn snake here, or a royal python, I would definitely recommend, or even something like a king snake or a milk snake, if you really do your research. I wouldn't recommend something like a retic or a, a, a boa, or like a Brazilian rainbow boa, for your first snake, purely because they have really hard requirements, and I think you should just get used to like a corn snake or a royal python before you decide to get one of those. So yes, I would definitely recommend a snake for a first reptile, but uh, only specific snakes. Uh, not like um, not like expert or intermediate snakes. Okay, so that does conclude the end of our Q and A questions, uh, and I'd like to thank everybody who left a question and uh, for supporting me on this Q and A. Um, I may do a few more of these in the future, but for now that is the end of this one. And if you have enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. We got eleven subscribers in about five days, which. For a small channel like ours, that's absolutely uh, unbelievable. And so, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. It's been JF Sam Snakes.